Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making one of Thailand's favorite comfort foods, Pad Krapao. This dish has 498 calories and almost 50 grams of protein. Let's learn how to make it. First, we're going to spray a pot with some low calorie canola oil. Then, we're going to add 750 grams of lean ground beef. We're going to break this up and cook it off until the beef has caramelized and broken up into little pieces. This process will take about 15 to 20 minutes. After cooking the beef, we're going to put it into a strainer and leave it there for 30 minutes. While our beef is being strained, we're going to make the rice. This is 2 cups of white rice to 3 cups of water. We're simply putting it through a rice cooker. While our rice is cooking, we're going to soft boil some eggs. In a pot of boiling water, we're going to carefully lay in our eggs, ensuring that it doesn't crack as we lay them in. Once we've laid in all our eggs, we're going to place a lid onto the pot and let it boil for 7 minutes. The reason why I'm soft boiling these eggs is because we're going to microwave this later on when we reheat it. And I don't want my eggs to be overly cooked. But if you want hard boiled eggs right from the beginning, boil this for 10 minutes. After cooking it for 7 minutes, we're going to take these eggs out and let it cool at room temperature. For hard boiled eggs, 10 minutes and let it cool at room temperature. Now we're going to make the guy lag. In a bowl of cold water, we're going to add in 5 grams of salt, 5 grams of garlic powder, and 5 grams of chicken powder. This will be whisked until all the seasonings have been dissolved. This is Gai Lan. We're simply going to snap it apart so that it's easier to eat later on. Now, in a pot of boiling water, we're going to boil this Gai Lan for 1 minute. Make sure everything is completely submerged before you start your cook time. Again, we're going to slightly undercook this because we're going under the assumption that it will be microwaved later. While this is cooking, we're getting our seasoned water ready. So normally, when you're eating this right away, you're seasoning it as you're cooking. But since we're reheating this later on, we actually want to stop the cooking process so it doesn't overcook. So we're going to place the Gai Lan in our seasoned cold water. Before we make the actual Pad Krapao, we're going to pick some Thai basil or if you don't have it, regular basil. We're also going to cut up some of our veg such as garlic, shallots, and chilies. Traditionally, this is made with Thai chilies but that's a little too spicy for me. So we're going to use regular red chilies. And if that's too spicy for you, you can use bell peppers. Now, in a pan, we're going to spray some low calorie canola oil. Then, add in our garlic, shallots, and chilies and saute this for a minute on high heat. Now, we're going to take our lean ground beef that we drained the fat out of and toss it into the pan. To get the proper calorie count, you have to make sure you only put in 500 grams of cooked ground beef. Once we've tossed it around a little bit, we're going to add in our sugar, fish sauce, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and oyster sauce. We're going to toss and mix this thoroughly and add in 100 milliliters of beef broth to add in flavor and deglaze the pan. We're going to turn it up to high heat, reduce the broth a little bit, turn off the heat, and add in our Thai basil. The residual heat will finish off the cooking as we toss the Pad Krapao. The basil doesn't have to be completely wilted. It will wilt some more as we set it aside and let it cool completely. Once our egg has completely cooled, we're going to crack it open and then cut it in half. Now we're ready to plate. Alright, so I just finished microwaving this for a minute and a half. And this is what it looks like. Now let's give it a taste. So as you can see, the egg is still a little bit runny. It's about a medium boil right now. And again, this was microwaved for a minute and a half. So we're going to take a little bit of this egg, take a little bit of the rice, take a little bit of the Pad Krapao, and shove it in our mouth. Traditionally, Pad Krapao is with a fried egg, but obviously by frying an egg, you're adding unnecessary calories. By boiling it, you're able to eat the egg without adding extra fat. 
As for the gailan, it's well seasoned and when you eat it, there's still a snap to it and it's not undercooked. And that's another important thing about meal prepping is understanding your vegetable so that it's not overcooked when you eat it. And as for the ground beef, by straining it, we're able to reduce the fat by up to 7 grams per 100 grams of lean ground beef. 7 grams of fat is equivalent to 63 calories. By using these techniques, we were able to reduce the calorie count without reducing the protein count. And that's how easy it is to make Pad Krapao.